testing one two one two one two one two <laughs> nice oh my god Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Blooming Daily. I am so excited to be back in the studio after what seemed like a very long time. And even more exciting is that this is the last episode of the year. <laughs> and so I am very pumped because you know, this year has been a lot. Um, just so many things have happened. And um, so it's so good to be coming to the end of the year, to be able to rest, to be able to look back on what 2022 gave us and to be able to say, okay, now let's plan for 2023. So as you might have heard a few seconds ago, I am here with an amazing friend today. In person of Onyedika. Oh my god, you're, you're so sweet. Thank you very much. <laughs> but oh. you know, you're also amazing too. So. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. I'm going to start crying now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh my yeah, gosh. It's yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, I, I feel a bit... Um, should I say squimish? I don't know. I, I've never been in... I've never done any recording stuff before. So, yeah, no. Um, you know, I... Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm glad I, glad I can be here today. Thank you for inviting me. Sure, absolutely. You know, I was saying today that um, it's going to be a real chill episode because we are going over the past episodes for this year. We're saying, you know what, looking back... As a year, what did we talk about? What can we take from these things? And, you know, how can we prepare for 2023? And so that's basically what this episode is going to be saying. "Mm, Okay, in 2022, what were our topic? What were the highlights? And, you know, how can we move forward? So we're going to start with our first episode, you know, with our inaugural episode which was in March and which was, you know, celebrating Women History Month, six health issues common to women. And during this time, we spoke about health issues um, like breast cancer. We spoke Mm -hmm. about menstrual um, Mm -hmm. pain. We spoke about depression, eating disorder. And, you know, these issues are issues that... A lot of people face but don't talk about. And, you know, we're not going to dwell so much on these because they have their individual episodes. Yeah. But I just want to ask you um, how much of these issues you hear about. Yeah, so um, me personally, I hear about a lot of them, um, especially uh, breast cancer. Mm-hmm. But um, more closer to home for me is the issue of uh menstruation mm-hmm. menstrual menstrual pain mm-hmm. so i have uh i have two younger sisters Ooh. yeah one is closer to me in age and one is way younger but um for the one that's closer to me in age she uh, i remember when she started menstruating it was really it was a lot she used to go through a lot of um, she, like the the cramps, the menstru- like whenever her cycle came around, it was just, oof. it was it would be like two days of her just being bedridden, just wow. in pain. Yeah, and she would take medicine for it. She would take painkillers, but it was just, it was really tough. Um, so now that I've come to the U.S., I still check check up with her sometimes, and you know it's not as bad as it used to be, but. It was really intense. And then um, I just learned recently that my younger sister, my youngest sister, mm-hmm. they're both my younger sisters, but my youngest sister, she um, she has started going into hers as well. And thankfully hers is not as painful, mm-hmm. but um, it's just, it's just that, you know, that part of, that part of being a woman that I still personally find just, I want to say str- very strange and different because yeah. I can't imagine like every month having to yeah yeah so um it, I you know hats off to women and 
you know, it, it, it is very admirable. Mm-hmm. And I, I think that、um, in a lot of ways, a lot of disservice is being done、mm-hmm. in terms of like, not paying attention to、uh, women's health.、Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of acknowledgement that I feel. Still needs to be given to women、mm-hmm. in regards to menstruation, just as one example.、Um, like, this is something that women go through a lot and their hormones cycle through. Yeah. And it's just, ah.、Um, so, yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, in terms of like personally experiencing it, yeah. Yeah, that is one, is one area which I,、um, I would say, you know. From my sister's experience and being close with both of them. Yeah.、Um, I've、wow. come to understand to some extent. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for sharing that honestly.、Mm-hmm. Because honestly, I feel like I don't usually hear much of you know, men's views about、mm-hmm. how they see、um, menstrual issues. So I'm really glad you shared this.、Yeah. And because sometimes when I see what men say, it's re- usually like some insensitive joke, right? About,、mm-hmm. oh, women. Every time they're on their menstruation, one moment they're like happy, one moment they're like、mm-hmm. crying and stuff like that. I usually think that's very insensitive.、Yeah. So, hearing you, your point、mm-hmm. of view on this really made me happy because sometimes I'm like, this, i-、um, this is such a, a sensitive issue, but I feel like it's not spoken about a lot. So, thank you so much for sharing that. That really gladdened my heart. And so, yes, that was our episode for March. And then in April, we spoke about practical tips to building healthy habits.、Mm, healthy habits. You know, you can't go wrong with building healthy habits. That's just the truth. Healthy habits、yep. make a healthier life, right?、Mm-hmm. So, we spoke about that. And we spoke about、um, one, identifying like unhealthy patterns and then. Changing your surroundings to fit、um, the goal you're trying to achieve, and then planning, making a plan for that, and then asking for support, you know, getting a- accountability partners, tracking your progress, and then rewarding yourself. So, is there any one of these you would like to touch on? Yeah, I think、um, in terms of habits, I think rewards、mm-hmm. go a long way. True.、Um, and for me in general, It, it can be sort of interesting. And, and, and oh, oh, is that a British accent? <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Do you want a bottle of water? <laughs>、um, it can be sort of interesting in the sense that、um, the, the way I see it when I try to get rid of certain habits or develop new ones is that one, you can choose to reward yourself.、Mm-hmm. And, you know, I do that. But two, It can also involve redefining what a reward is for you.、Mm-hmm. Like, like re, re, yeah, redefining, redescribing reward, like reconfiguring、mm-hmm. what a reward is for you.、Um, I know that sounds a bit abstract. And if I do something good and I want to reward myself, and、mm-hmm. the issue of food, say I want to use food to reward myself, right?、Mm-hmm. Um, what I used to think. What I used to look at a reward as is like the really sugary, sweet stuff. Yeah, I get that. Right?、Um, so, you know, after doing, after grinding through this、uh, um, vinyl or something, and then you go to d i n e and you say, oh, yes, I'll get cheesecake. Oh, I love cheesecake a lot,、mm-hmm. um, especially with the strawberry sauce. Yeah. Yeah. And then you take it and you feel good, right? But. So, so that, is, that is one reward,、mm-hmm. right? But sometimes, or like when I'm working, when, like this is something I, I try to pay attention to. Another, like for me personally, eating veggies, like I've redefined that as a reward. Yeah. Because rewards can come in different forms, right?、True. So, eating cheesecake, for example,、mm-hmm. it is so good. It's like, ugh. Right, and、mm-hmm. so that gives me like an instant reward.、Mm-hmm. But eating something like,、um, like you know, when I eat lettuce or cucumbers、mm-hmm. or just eat it raw, like it, it feels good,、mm-hmm. but it's not、uh, oh, kind of good. It's like,、mm, mm-hmm. like, I like this, and, and I feel good about it over、yes. a period of time.、Mm-hmm. Like, I feel good, I eat this. So, I think 
an important thing we re- re- reward is that people tend to define rewards as that instant hit. Mm-hmm. Right? You do good. Right, yeah. It's the weekend. I've worked hard. I'll go drink mm-hmm. with friends. It's great, right? Um, but I think we should start to open our minds to different types of rewards. True. Also, that like those that release the feeling of goodness over a consistent period of time. Yeah. They're also really good. And it's good to mix and match and listen to yourself and also like do some introspection and understand what you need at what point. So I think yes, rewards are great. Um but also if you sometimes if you overindulge a certain type of reward, mm-hmm. it's going to undo the work you've done. Oh right? so snap, 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 snap. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so, oh my gosh! Um, yeah. So that that is my thought on rewards. I just wanted to touch on that because you know, I was like, yeah, yeah, rewards are very interesting. Mm-hmm. The way you choose to reward your brain and your body is something that that is just as important as the habit you're trying to develop mm. or undo. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really good. I'm. I'm so glad you said this. The part of undoing all the work, right? Because mm-hmm. imagine if you're trying to, yeah, you're trying to say, you know, I'm trying to stay fit and everything, right? Mm-hmm. And then you, you you exercise a lot during the week and all of that. But then during the weekend, your reward is something that is just like undoing everything you've done during the week. So mm-hmm. it's, it's you're not making any true progress because you're going back and forth, you know? So mm-hmm. really loved that you touched on that. That was amazing. Yeah. So, But just to add, like, Sometimes the back and forth isn't necessarily bad, right? Yeah. It, it, it depends on what you've defined for yourself, you know? Sometimes that, according to what you've defined for yourself, that is good. But it's really important to be clear and understand what you've defined for yourself. Mm-hmm. And so designing your reward system around that mm-hmm. um, is really important. Yeah. yeah? So. Definitely agree. Mm-hmm. That I'm really glad you made that addition because that's that's really true. Mm-hmm. And so in our next episode, which was in May, we spoke about why can't I get quality sleep? Part one. And in this episode, we spoke about some of the you know external reasons it's hard for people to get quality sleep. Like, you know, the societal, like, pressure to always, like, be working and always to be seen working, you know. And I remember, (laughs) Aedeka is smiling right now. Gosh, I wish you guys could see it. (laughs) (laughs) It's, like, such a cute smile. Thank you, thank you. And it's, like, yeah, um... That that pressure that society gives that you always have to like always have to be grinding and if you're resting it's like you're like wasting time like resting mm-hmm. time is wasted time right mm-hmm. and so I remember Kate saying that you know why don't we why do we take so much pride in saying you know what I slept for like four hours like in a way like beat that kind of thing right so I really want to hear your experience with that ooh sleep <laughs> it's uh, sleep is one of those things, right? Um, uh, so many people, like you said, mm-hmm. take pride in saying things like, oh, I put an all-nighter. Yeah. I put an all-nighter for two nights straight. I hear that a lot. Yeah. A lot. Um, and they'll say things like, I just power through it. I just... Me, personally... Um, I don't like drinking caffeine because I have found that power naps, they're literally all you need. Well, they're literally all I need. I don't want to generalize. Yeah. But um, because when I, when I, um, so usually I wake up, go to school, work, 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 work at the, the, at the middle of the day, mm-hmm. I just take a power nap, and then it, it feels like you know I'm rejuvenated and all of that. Um, but in, in terms of sleeping at night, that is that is it's 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 very tricky because for some people it's genuinely hard. Yes, it is like Absolutely. genuinely hard. And Absolutely. Sometimes people are under stress. Sometimes people are under. 
it might be going through something emotional because mm-hmm. um, sometimes when I you know when I have something on my mind I can't sleep well mm-hmm. um, yep sometimes it's just you know the temperature in the room is not being regulated well so it gets really hot and then you wake up in the middle of the night and then you can't go back to sleep yeah it's just it's a lot of things um, sometimes health issues um, so I think sleep is complicated in the sense that you know it it, it it is good to be cognizant of those facts or like when you're like the the different nuances when yes. we talk about sleep mm-hmm. for other people it is just work and grind culture mm-hmm. and for people that sacrifice sleep so much just for work and grind culture that is where you know sometimes i i, I talk to people like this and i'm like Maybe you need to, you know, reevaluate some things Mm -hmm. because, wow, like people will be like, I, I, yeah, I sleep, I sleep five hours a day and they say they're good with it. But I'm like, are you really good with it? Um, Because if you're doing it over and over again and you're just constantly being fatigued and stressed and you just keep powering through it with caffeine, then are you really good with it? Mm -hmm. Um not to shame people that drink caffeine or anything, but I just I just feel that sleep is important. It is very, very important. Mm-hmm. You don't have to get... I You know, I've read a bunch... Because I, I care a lot about my sleep, mm-hmm. and I invest a lot in products that um, enhance my sleep quality. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also, like, read a lot about sleep. Mm-hmm. And I think sleep is very important, like very, very important. It's, it's, I know I just keep saying it's important, it's important. Yeah. It's because it's because, it is. Because it is, right? And also because a lot of the reasons why it's important feels so like innate to me. Yes. That I don't understand why some people just ignore it, especially here in the United States. Um, uh, people just like this work hustle culture it's really big um and from my experience just just ignoring sleep just to get i don't know i just it's yeah. it's it's sad to see because there's a lot of people walking around with just chronic fatigue all the time and even me <laughs> If I don't if I don't sleep well, I feel it. And it's not something you like you can't pull an all nighter and mm-hmm. say you sleep the whole day tomorrow mm-hmm. or two days after that to regain it. Like once you do it, you don't gain it back. Yes. You know? So it's all about same thing with habits actually connecting all these topics. Mm-hmm. It's, it's good sleep is a habit. Mm-hmm. You 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 try to, you develop the habit of you sleep at this time, you try to try to wake up at this time you sleep at this time you know once, mm-hmm. once in a while if things get knocked off balance it's important to recover that habit and mm-hmm. just keep keep doing the habit and good sleep this is the thing with sleep good sleep is a reward unto itself yes oh my goodness because yes. you just your day you, you you just the day just flows better like you wake up feeling refreshed and nice and you know, because there are days when I go through a lot of stress in school, right? And it's just, and then I have to sacrifice my sleep during that time. Oh, yeah. 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 So mm-hmm. that's my take on that. I think, I think sleep is important. I think sleep, top priorities in life, sleep is definitely top five for me. Mm-hmm. And there's some things that are really high up there. So that, that, that goes to say that. That says a lot because you spend about a third of your life sleeping. And I think that's why a lot of people think it's a waste. Yeah. Because there's this whole causal culture mentality that if you're sleeping a third of your life, that like a third of your life you're sleeping. Like like if, if you're working all that time, do you know what you can achieve? Blah, blah, blah. Just like we say in Nigeria, it's like problem not finish. <laughs> Ah, like you pro- you solve a problem there's another problem you know so if you're stressed going through life just solve problem no they finish mm-hmm. like, you just you just gotta mm-hmm. just chill calm down and 
you know, actually live life because, you know, sleeping is one of those things that help you actually live life more. Yes. And, um, you know, once in a while, it's good to once. No, no, no. I don't say it's good. Once in a while, if you have to sacrifice sleep and you do, Mm -hmm. I think it's important to not guilt yourself about that. Like you, you see all these things I'm saying. One thing I really, really don't like is guilting, right? Mm-hmm. And I think people shouldn't guilt themselves about sleep. Like it's always good to remember that part of health, especially mental health, is mm-hmm. understanding yourself and caring and being kind to yourself. Mm-hmm. So if you miss it, good to be kind to yourself. If you have to grind through for a bit, it's good to be kind to yourself. But mm-hmm. just understand and aspiring to for good sleep as a habit is really important yes yeah when you said that problem is the finish for non-nigerian listeners that's a like a nigerian <laughs> a nigerian thing i wanted to say oh cue that actual song because oh, it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness that's yeah. so funny yeah no you said so many amazing things Oyedika, and I like how you ended because I wanted to say that, you know, there are certain points in our life where we really, we are at a point where, like, I really have to, like, sacrifice sleep just for, like, just two days. I feel like there are points, like, finals, you're like, I really want to grind through so that I can really get my reading done because um, I really want to get a good grade on this final, right? Because mm-hmm. that even happened to me. I mean, I literally was still writing finals a few days ago mm-hmm. and that was what was happening. I was awake till like 2, 3 a.m. because I was still reading, right? Because mm-hmm. um, in that time, I was like, yeah, I really want to get this and then I'm really going to sleep, right? So, yeah, I really want to acknowledge that, that even Onyedika and I, still have like our own issues with sleep right yep. it's just like yep. mm-hmm. yeah it's something that we're all working towards being mm-hmm. better at you know so like nobody is like perfect in this at all right and there are certain periods in time where like things just happen i remember mm-hmm. like when i was um in germany for the summer and like sometimes i'll sleep really late time difference and all of that yeah. and all of that, you know, there are just so many factors. So we totally um, acknowledge that. And that there are some people who work and their work demands that they're up or something. You know, people are trying yep. to make mm-hmm. ends meet. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there are just so many factors. So, yeah. It is just, a hard world. It is a hard world. Yeah. So, yep. yeah. So um, our next episode was also on sleep. Because, as you can see, there's a lot to talk about <laughs> with sleep. <laughs> And it was Why Can't I Get Quality Sleep Part 2. And here, um, Kate, who was our lovely guest, spoke about, like, some tips with, you know, how you can get better sleep. And she spoke about things like that you already said, the temperature of the room mm-hmm. might be something. She spoke about, you know, um, trying to cut down on the things you do in the room that are work-related. Because mm-hmm. that way your brain might not associate the room with sleep, right? Like, yep. don't, like, maybe work on your bed because, like, your bed is for sleep. And do you know that? That I'm is a hard one not to not do. <laughs> that is a very hard yeah. one. And you know what's interesting? I have been doing that a lot the past few months, and now I think it's now a habit. Like, I work on my desk mm-hmm. in my common room, right? Mm-hmm. And when I go to sleep, I sleep on the bed. I almost don't do anything on my bed now. I even try not to use my phone on my bed. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that's you should one. you should try your best to keep doing that. Yeah, yeah. that's one thing I try. Interesting, because when I set my alarm on my mm-hmm. phone, I try to put it on like on my like a drawer, right? I don't put it on my bed, right? Because mm-hmm. when I set my alarm, so what I do is I set my alarm, mm-hmm. then I go to brush because I try to put a few minutes be- between when I looked at my phone last and when I went to bed. Mm-hmm. So I try to set my alarm. Then I go brush, mm-hmm. and then I like do like oh I have to maybe like moisturize my hair da da da, mm-hmm. and then I go to bed. So I try to put like maybe a few minutes before that time, yeah. So that the last thing I was doing was not looking at my screen. I know that I don't know if we might need more time, but I think that has really worked for me because I try not to use my phone on my on like my bed. So that's one of the things. Yeah. Okay. You do you want a challenge? Oh. So what you're doing is great. I'm. I'm like really bad at that. Mm-hmm. I, 
<laughs> I'm so bad at it. Um, but, you know, I am working on it. Mm-hmm. But I am way behind on that. But on the not using your phone thing, if you want a challenge, try to not use your phone. Well, this, this should be progressive, right? But try mm-hmm. to not use your phone. Now you say a few minutes, mm-hmm. maybe try 30 minutes and mm-hmm. then try an hour, then try two hours. Whoa. I think not using your phone for about two hours before you fall asleep or any screen is really good. It, it's hard for college students because yeah. sometimes you're working right up until you go to bed. Mm-hmm. Um, but just working on that and building the habit is mm-hmm. going to be really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's really good, right? And oh, she also spoke about like, you know, sometimes you spoke about sometimes there are things on your mind that are bothering you, and so you can't sleep. And she spoke mm-hmm. about you know, in those times, getting up from bed and going to write those things down. And I thought oh. that was really good. Yes, and mm-hmm. it's interesting, yeah, to know that in those times, don't just like lie there because then you're not going to sleep, but actually getting up from bed. Mm-hmm. Instead of lying down in bed, being awake, getting up, going to write down will help you. Like it's be like you're pouring out those things. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to go back, and then you see that you might be able to sleep better, right? Just like getting those things off your mm-hmm. mind, right? Like it's like you're giving them, like, like in that moment, it's like you're saying, "Okay, I'm pouring them out so that you know my mind can be a bit relieved," you know. And the truth is that depending on what it is, it might not be that easy, you know. Yeah. If it depend yeah. on Depending on, like, yeah, the gravity of the situation, it might not be easy, but I think that's a good thing to try. If it's just that like you're, like, being bogged by this thought, you can just write it down. That, is, that is really good. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you for sharing that one. I'm going to start using that one. Yeah. Because um, sometimes life's tough. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, I don't want to bring the... I don't want to be a downer, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is, to be really... Yeah, but that is, a, that is a very good tip. Mm-hmm. I'll start using that one. Yes. Yeah. So, mm. yep. And so, that was our episode for June. And then, in July, we spoke about how do our priorities affect our health? Because, mm. you know, it's something that we don't really talk about, like... The truth is that if you don't prioritize something, it won't prioritize itself, you know? Ooh, look so, at you go. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Bars, bars. <laughs> <laughs> bars, me out here dropping bars. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, that's the reality, you know? It can't, like, if you don't, like, prioritize, um, like, oh, getting, you know, um, quality sleep, like we just even touched on, or, like, um... Let's say, let's even move away from like sleep, even like quality relationships. If you don't yeah. like say that, you know, I'm going to try to be a great friend and mm-hmm. I'm trying to make great friends, it mm-hmm. won't just happen. Those kind of things, you can't just stumble upon like all these kind of things. You have yeah. to work towards it, right? Mm-hmm. So we really spoke about that and we spoke about how sometimes making these things a priority might mean put them on your calendar. Which is what I do. I wish I could show you my calendar right now. I literally put lunch, Mm -hmm. dinner on my calendar, right? Because I think that at some point in the semester, it's easy. But at some other point, it's hard. It is hard. It's like you're going, 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 going. And it's like, oh, I have to eat. Hmm, Interesting, you know? And so, you know, how our priorities affect our health. And I'm wondering how that's like for you. Yeah. This is one thing that I really really struggle with Mm -hmm. just um prioritizing and being clear about what you're prioritizing over what yeah um hmm. yeah i don't you know like for me ever like as a kid and all of that i've always prioritized my books my academics going to school blah 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 and over the years, as I left home and now I'm living alone, um, my biggest priority has become my mental health because, you know, my parents are miles away and um, my siblings are thousands of miles away. I, I'm, I'm, I'm here in the U.S. alone, right? Mm-hmm. And so I have to mostly take care of myself. Yes. And... Um, so 
and and the, the interesting thing about mental health is that it is so broad. Yes, it There's is. There's so many ways that you need to be attentive, that you need to put in effort to take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. And so some of them include friendships. Some of them include sleep. Some of them include exercise. Ooh, I love exercise. <laughs> it's good for the body. It's also good for the mind. It is. Yes. Some of it also includes playing brain games like board games yes. people don't realize how good that is for you mm-hmm. mental health and just being able to think logically because yes. sometimes sometimes a lot of the voices in our head are illogical yes and um, sometimes it, it takes a strong inner voice that's logical to sort of quiet things down um, that's why you go to therapy because that's what the therapist helps you do mm-hmm. um so it it is yeah so for me i i you know i struggled a lot in my first year especially at Bowdoin yes especially mentally and so that's when i started prioritizing my mental health and also this is going to sound maybe it's not going to resonate with a lot of people but also prioritizing my spiritual health mhm um and, you know, you don't have to be religious or anything, but mm-hmm. being able to always center yourself in something. That's so true. You know, whether, because I grew up Christian and going to church and worshiping with other people was always so centering. It's mm-hmm. like so calming, so relaxing. So that was, that was something that um, I, I had to prioritize, um, as, especially looking for representation uh, replacements after I, I stopped going to church as often mm-hmm. um, but finding that same sort of community and transcendence outside of the church for example was very important so I had to prioritize that as well um, so I, I think like going back to your question I have you know First and foremost, I'm here for study, to, for my academics. Mm-hmm. And um, sometimes, that is so annoying. I want to put it like yeah. down, 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 <laughs> under. Um, but, but sometimes, you know, you just, you just have to grind through it. So that is always a priority. Mm-hmm. But I've come to understand that my well-being as a whole Mm -hmm. is very important Mm -hmm. and so i would say that that takes number one priority Mm -hmm. well-being well-being as a whole and that 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 involves a lot of things like i just said before it it involves but your relationships but your the sports you play the the um, people you talk to you know dealing with stress all of that so your well-being as a whole my well-being as a whole comes first and then my my academics is up there as well. And then, you know, the other things involve just, you know, like at Bowdoin, we almost we always say the common good. Yes. Yeah, the common good. Because sometimes doing good unto others, it, 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 it makes you feel good. Yes. I'm not going to lie. Um, so sometimes, you know, trying to do that as well. Going out of my way sometimes to help people, but not too much. But yeah, um, so it's it's very interesting, right? Especially when I think about your, your podcast a lot. Mm-hmm. I, it, there is there is a lot of ways in which we can take care of ourselves. Mm-hmm. Health is just so holistic, mm-hmm. and just talk from talking about you right now and listening to you speak, and just our conversation, I'm starting to realize that. Health is sort of a lifestyle, mm-hmm. right? It's 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 basically living, and living in the best way possible. Yes, giving the efforts you can make, mm-hmm. right? So that is that is hmm, that is beautiful, you know, because people tend to se- separate. Well, at least I used to, I tend tended to separate health from living. It's like it's like oh, I'm going to the dining to eat. Um, maybe I'll get salads today to like because I want to be, you know, increase my health or something. Yeah. But no, 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 no. 
the salad is food the salad is you sustaining your body the salad mm-hmm. is you living so it's just it's 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 all it's all connected it's all one thing yes it's right? all connected yeah like like making friends is not separate like make, making sure you make good strong you know meaningful relationships is not yes. separated it's not separate from making sure you're active and your body is healthy yes and that's not separate from your general mental health and that's not separate from um how well you do in other aspects of your life mm-hmm. so i think hmm, it all it's starting to come together you know yes oh. Nice, Aww, nice, nice. I'm so happy yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because because when you feel, I find that when I do when I'm active and I do well in sports, I tend to do well in school too. Yes. Yeah, because you know you you always you have that energy. Mm-hmm. Your brain is ah, your brain is always sharp and. Uh, it is. It is all one connected bubble, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, amazing! <laughs> this is making me so happy. Yes. Uh, so. I, I think I'm starting to sound like a, like a guru. Like <laughs> a, yeah, it's all connected. It's all connected. All connected. <laughs> it's all connected. In Matthew McConaughey's voice, it, it, it's all connected. Ooh. No. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so cool. yeah. yeah, amazing. So that was our topic for July, which is again on how our priorities affect our health. And so in August and September we had the break. Um and then in October we had new beginnings, how to be intentional about your health, because it was beginning of season two and that was super exciting and you know we spoke again about intentionality. Um, I remember something Daniel said. He says, you know, one thing that fosters intentionality is intent, right? Mm-hmm. The reason you're doing something will really help you power through when things get tough. And I was like, yeah. mm, 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 deep, deep. <laughs> because he was like, for example, he gave the, I think the example of maybe working out, you know, like, why are you working? Are you working out? Because you saw it on social media, this influencer are working out. Is that why? Because when you get tough, you're not going to continue. But if you're working out because it, it makes you happy and it stimulates your brain, even when things get tough, right, it will continue. And you know, this was in October and this was when I had newly started doing strength training, right? Mm-hmm. And looking back now, it's December. So it's been like over two months, right, since recorded that episode. And looking back, it all makes sense. Yeah. Because I remember at one point in the semester when I was really stressed. Mm-hmm. And this was like Mondays in particular. Monday night after I was done with doing like um, work, um, academic work, I yeah. would leave the, the classroom where I just worked and I would go to the gym and work out. Because in that moment, it was like working out helped me calm down, which is interesting because like, I remember like I would leave... I think I would leave there around 9 because I think the gym closes at 10. Yeah. So I would leave there past 9, go to the gym so I can get some workout in before going home. Mm-hmm. And I would work out. You know, I would um, work out or my work on the treadmill or and do some training, um, strength training. Because then it was like I was able to like relax by expounding my energy, you know, on something. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that made me consider we working out this semester. Because working out for me was not a um, thing to gain weight or to lose weight or anything. It was a thing that genuinely made me feel good, right? Yeah. And so I remember like doing that and like walking out of the gym and feeling oh, like I feel good. Now I think I can like um, go back home and do the last um, set of like things I have to do and then go to sleep, you know. Just it made me feel good. And it's something that, you know, Intense that has really resonated with me a lot this semester. Why am I doing this? Why am I? Why am I eating a ton of protein? You know, is it because it's? Uh, it's yeah. Like why? Why is my intent like? Why do I really want to see this person? Is it just because I want to appear I like them, or do I really want to have 
a good relationship with them. You know, intent has been something that I have thought about a lot this semester yeah. and that has resonated with me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, what's, uh, what's actually interesting, what you just said, um, relating it back to the, the idea of reward. Mm-hmm. In a way... From what you're describing, working out was a reward. reward. For you, I you know. know. You you had a long day, you go work out. That's a reward, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and so that's interesting. That's why I think understanding a reward system and redefining it to not just look one particular kind of way is very interesting. So I I think in terms of intentionality, mm-hmm. that is very interesting, right? Because um, I was just thinking, mm, intentionality. So, so this is actually a, a question I want to pose to you. Right? Mm-hmm. So, would you say? Because for me, I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, hmm, are there really good intentions or, or like? Because okay, would you say there are some intentions that are good and some that are bad? Like, would you say that there are some that that don't work to serve the person? Hmm, I see. I think I see what you're saying. Yeah. I don't know if there are good and bad, like mm-hmm. black and white. I feel like there are gray areas. Mm-hmm. But I think they're like, yeah, I think that there are um, genuine intent. I'll say that. I might mm-hmm. put it that way. Genuine intent and like maybe ingenuine intent, right? Yeah. I think, um, I think intents that are built on solid reasons, right? Mm. Stand the test of time. I don't know if I can classify them into good and bad Mm -hmm. because I think good and bad is even a relative thing, right? You know, for this kind of things, like that's that's interesting. Some people won't agree, but yeah, no, I mean, we don't have to go into like (laughs) no, I mean, like of morality. No, no, I don't mean like good and bad in the grand scheme. I mean, Mm -hmm. for this kind of thing. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, it's real because like what's good to me for my health might not be necessarily what's good to you, you know? Yeah. So that's what I'm referring to. I'm not referring to like the grand Uh, scheme. Yeah, I know that that's a very big conversation. That is a very big conversation. Yeah, I was referring to like this topic, right? I feel like I can place them in like good and bad, like in terms of intent for like this um, mm-hmm. topic, but I think they're, they're like maybe genuine and you're mm-hmm. like. Um, so, what would you? How would you describe an intention that's genuine? Um, like let's say I'm working out because I want to stay fit. Mm-hmm. I'm not working out because um, it's something that is trending. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like yeah, I feel like it's hard to really. Mm-hmm. Put a name to that, mm-hmm. but like things that trend will always stop trending, you know. I see. And then when it stops trending, do you stop working out? Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it's because, like, for me personally, and this is because over the months I have like worked on this personally. That's why I think that it hits home because for me, like, it's it feels really good. Like, it feels it genuinely feels yeah. really good. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm done and I'm working out and I'm feeling like. Like, I'm feeling like I can now go and study, you know. I feel like my yeah. brain has been really stimulated. It happens to me a lot. Like, I'm done working and I'm, like, sweating and all of that. And, like, I go and then I shower and I'm, like, I calm down. It's, like, it's a f- really good feeling, right? Mm-hmm. And so that, for me, has been really good because, like, it works my mind a lot. My mind feels very stimulated. My body feels like it has, like, worked. It has moved, right? Mm-hmm. And so that's, that's a really good feeling for me. And so that's, like, where my intent is fostered, you know, because I feel good. My body feels good. My body feels, you know, that that um, um, rush of, like, endorphins. You know, it's just, like, mm-hmm. it's just very different. So, yeah, I feel like, that's like an example, right? Why yeah. am I why am I doing this? Is it because of this reason or is it because of a reason that is more shaky, you know? It's very mm-hmm. hard to classify this. But yeah, I feel like when you look at that, like is this something that would uh, that can stand it stand the test of time, right? Yeah. I mean like for staying fit, I will always want to stay fit. Ten years from now I still want to stay fit, you know. Mm. So yeah. like but if it's trending, if it's something like yeah, you know, it's going to be different. So I think that's what I think of when I think of, like, intent. Are your intent built on a solid, like, ground? Mm-hmm. You know, because if they're not, they're going to be washed away in no time. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's, that's pretty good. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yes, amazing. So that was our episode in October. 
And then our episode right before this one was on wellness, finding balance in a busy world. And, you know, a ton of things I spoke about with Gabby revolved around this whole even exercise thing. And, you know, there are a ton of examples, actually, about this whole intense thing. But but I'm just using exercise because it's the one that is coming to my mind Mm -hmm. more. Because it's something that I have recently seen you know it's something that because i for example i started like strength training in september it's something that is very new to me but something i have really seen how my body has responded to in the past you mm-hmm. know how many months now and so it's something that it's like wow and i remember gabby saying that sometimes when we think about things like exercise we usually just associate it with either gaining weight or losing weight but she mm-hmm. said that's not what it's supposed to be about. It's yeah. just generally about, you know, staying fit, you know. Um, and so, which means that it's not like people who ha- who are, like, looking a certain way that should be exercising. Or mm-hmm. if you look mm-hmm. a certain way, it means you don't need exercise. No, it's not. We can't just put it into those kind of categories, yeah. you know. And she now even said something that resonated with me about sleep. Because like you said, it's all connected. You know, when we speak about sleep, we speak about getting too little sleep all the time. But mm-hmm. she said that by, because she is a, a boarding alum. Mm-hmm. And she mentioned that when she used to be very s- stressed, that sometimes she would get too much sleep. Yep. And for me, when she said that, I was like, what? Too much sleep is also a problem. Yes, and she was like, that's not balanced. Getting too little sleep is not balanced. Getting too much sleep is also not balanced. They're both, you know, and I was like, that makes a lot of sense. If you're leaning towards one end, you're not balancing it, right? Mm -hmm. And then she spoke about the eight dimensions of wellness, which I will confess I do not know. And she was like, you don't have to know them. And she spoke about different aspects of wellness. And I was like, wow. And then she was like, yeah, wellness is a lot. You know, that's why it's, that's why, like you said, it's really also connected. Wellness can be expressed in so, um, different ways. Your, mm-hmm. your mental health, your social health, your spiritual health, your physical. Mm-hmm. It's like so many aspects. And the mm-hmm. more we, I speak about this, the more we have those conversations, the more it's like, that's so true. Yeah. You can't like lean on only physical health, gym, 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 mm-hmm. and, don't, and not take care of your other health even your academic health you know mm-hmm. you can just say oh i'm going to rest on only my social health and not take care of other places because that's not balance you know mm-hmm. and so that's that's something really beautiful and it's just really amazing honestly yeah the whole like it's connected and some you know there's a danger of like looking up at everything and being like oh this is a lot but yeah that's why I try to think about it and emphasize it as it's just living. Yes. It's just living, you know? It's 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 living every moment thoughtfully and being kind to yourself in every moment. Yes. Because as if you're kind to yourself and you pay attention to yourself and you're intentional, right, about what your goals are. Mhm. Some things just come naturally. Yes. Right. So, you know, you you, re- you start to realize that oh, you know, I sleep better when I work out that day. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, when you work out your back, it helps with your sleeping. Yes. For example, or I do better in school and my career when I sleep well. Right. Yes. So. And I want to do well in my career because that's a goal I have defined for myself. And because mm-hmm. I'm kind to myself, I want to achieve the goals I've defined for myself. Mm-hmm. And so I put in the effort to make my sleep better so that my career is better. Yes. All right. Um, or, you know, you have a goal where, oh, I don't want to struggle with money. I don't have more money to be an issue that I'm always thinking about because it affects my mental health. Right, always thinking about money, mm-hmm. and so you're like, oh, so I'll put effort into getting a better career, and that will in turn benefit my mental health mm-hmm. because then I'm not having to always worry about money or um, having a good career makes me feel good. Mm-hmm. I want to accomplish great things with my life, mm-hmm. right? And so you see, you see, everything sort of feeds into one another, and it when does. one thing stops working well. 
it kind it can kind of start a domino effect. Yes, that's really true. And that that is why it's important to pay attention to all these things, right? But it's like when you say paying attention, it's like oh, there's so much I have to yes. pay attention to. But not really, because you're living your life, right? Mm-hmm. All you just have to do is be intentional about how you're living your life, mm-hmm. because once you're intentional and present. Then you 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 just notice automatically, mm-hmm. right? I'm trying to say this because I just because sometimes I I tend to fall into this as well. I'm just like, oh my god, it's so much, mm-hmm. it's so much, and uh, it's it's so much to keep track of. Yeah, but you live your life every day. Yes. So just get intention, just get intentional and present. About how you're living that that life, and mm-hmm. everything will just fall in place. Mm-hmm. Mostly, yeah. Most yeah. <laughs> of course, there are always, you know, extremity extremities. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but uh, of course, there are always, you know, um, things that don't go as planned, and mm-hmm. then you have to put extra effort. Mm-hmm. But mostly, it's just vibing and vibing well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh yeah. Yeah, so but wellness wellness as a concept is is really it's something that's really um really important and i think it that it's like it, it's 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 good for it to be taught because it is hard out there it is and it's important like you said wellness in a busy world it's important for us to always step back and, and just take care of ourselves because we only have one life you true know? and like we said pr- the problem you know they finish it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't it problems don't go anywhere you solve one another one pops up mm-hmm. right so understanding that and not getting overwhelmed by it but saying okay this is this is you know redefining priorities because some people define their priorities differently right Mm -hmm. and people have different lives people there's like people want to live their lives in a certain way Mm -hmm. and they're conscious like see i don't i don't usually go after people for choosing a certain way of living Mm -hmm. over another Mm -hmm. but what i tend to what i tend to respect is when people sure you choose this way of living that maybe might affect your wellness adversely but you are conscious of that and you you understand the consequences mm-hmm. right and you've decided that okay this like this is how i define my wellness right i define my wellness by working 80 hours a week mm-hmm. right it, it, this is what's going to like like understanding because you said like just like you said it's it's a balance right it's a balanced ecosystem of your life and if you decide to introduce an imbalance by mm-hmm. maybe giving t- a lot of effort to just one thing mm-hmm. um, it is important to pay attention to what that is doing to other aspects of your life yes. and this is why intentionality and being present yes. always paying attention to yourself is important mm-hmm. and understanding that there are consequences to everything mm-hmm. right so if i decide to sleep eight hours a week Right, if I decide to get enough good sleep, mm-hmm. maybe I won't be the CEO of a space company, mm-hmm. right? But that's fine because I've decided to define my life mm-hmm. and my wellness in a certain way. Yes, right, and it can be different for a lot of different people. Yes, and, definitely. And I think um, it is important to acknowledge that, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, to be inclusive, you know, <laughs> um, it's important to acknowledge that. But it's important for people to just be, you know, because it's important to acknowledge that. But I don't support acknowledging just living your life and not understanding, like, and not being conscious of yes. what the decisions you're making are doing to you. Mm-hmm. Right? Very I think. True. I think like. Because people, there are people that choose to smoke, for example, mm-hmm. and they know that this affects their health mm-hmm. badly, right? I'm not 
admonishing smoking or anything they know it affects your health badly mm. and they keep doing it right i respect those people more than people that just ignore that whole issue mm-hmm. right because it is we do things every day in our lives that just take nibble 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 mm-hmm. at ourselves from different angles and it is important to again back to your topic of prioritizing right mm-hmm. what are your priorities and how do those affect your health mm-hmm. right it's good to understand what your priorities are and how they affect your health yes yes absolutely right? and there's there are billions of people in this world i think we just reached eight billion actually mm-hmm. um and all those people have different priorities right yeah so it's important this is my priority you know it doesn't not everyone is going to prioritize their health right when mm-hmm. we don't live in a perfect world mm-hmm. not everyone is going to prioritize their health but i think everyone can work yes. towards understanding how those priorities affect their health yes and in doing that we will live more r- r- richer and more fulfilling life yeah Ooh, my job Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. And with that, we have done a full recap of all the topics we touched on this year. Oh my goodness. This was so good. Yeah. Onyedika, this was so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Onyedika, I just want to say thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you for joining me today. And thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on this very beautiful episode and for joining us this entire year. I I want to use this time to say thank you to all our listeners around the world. You guys are literally around the world. When we shared our Spotify year in recap um, online, you saw the countries. We have people in Nigeria, home country. (laughs) And then... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we have people here in the US, our base. We have people all over the world, you know, different countries listening in from Germany and from, you know, the UK and, you know, so many places, so many places. And I am just really grateful, really, really, really grateful that you all are part of this journey and that you've been with us through all of this. So. I hope that as the year comes to an end, you can reflect on all of this and, you know, reflect on how this affects your health, you know, and how 2023 can be in terms of prioritizing your health and you just striving to be a more, um, a, a more present person in terms of taking care of yourself and in being healthier. Um, can I, can I add something? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, I just I also want to thank you for having me on. Mm-hmm. And also I'm just going to act as a voice for others and say thank you, you know. Oh. Yeah, thank you for starting this amazing podcast oh and my God. you know, teaching people about health and wellness and mm-hmm. um it's 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 really something that I look at and I admire just like mm. I want to be like Ro- I want to be like Ruth when I grow up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, keep it up. Um, it's it's really good work that you're doing. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I, I I my wish for you is that it keeps growing. And you mm-hmm. keep touching more lives, and you keep helping people live better lives. Oh my god! Be more conscious of their health and well-being. Yeah, but. Uh, Great job. Thank okay. you. Oh yeah. my gosh. Thank you, Yudi. And thank you to every other person who like stops by to say this. Thank you. So yes, don't forget to like, to share, and to please leave a comment if you have any comments or questions or suggestions, and we will definitely respond to that. So have an amazing end of the year and i hope you have a fantastic new year ahead bye 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 <laughs> <laughs>